How you doing guys? We're here this morning or this evening, this afternoon, whatever you want to call it. It's about 3 o'clock, we're here in Cavan as a firm Of course, Cavan is here in County Cork, um, the kind of south-west of Ireland. So, yeah, I suppose so, the south-west of Ireland, the kind of North Cork, I've been on the go since, oh, he told me, it's about 8 years. Do you know, as you can see, New Holland dealers, New Holland specialists here in North Cork. Um, absolutely fantastic lineup with new gear. I done a video there a couple of weeks back and it's of the second hand gear. So if you want to see that, um, just give a look at it. Type in Cavanaghs, Morgan O'Flaherty, Machinery of Ireland, Cavanaghs, and uh, you get it up. And uh, we're just going to swing around the camera and we're going to give a look at some of the new, I suppose, the new range of tractors they have. And I suppose the date is something around the 14th to 15th of April. And um, unleaded is 163.9 and diesel is 159.9. So maybe that's something for he did in, in 10 years time, it's 2023, he can be looking at that. And um, so look, we'll swing the camera and we'll give a look at what they have. And if you want to, if you see something here you, you like or see something you want to think about, you can contact John McCormack. John McCormack is the man here. And um, make sure you absolutely, make sure you tell him you saw it on YouTube in Morgan O'Flaherty Machinery of Ireland. And uh, give a like, give a share and um, see what they, they have for you. Alright guys, here we have the, the New Holland, of course, front linkage again, of course, a lot of the bigger New Hollands now are coming absolutely standard as, um, as with front linkage. It's not, I don't think it's probably a bigger deal now to get them without front linkage. Um, this is a T7 230, um, somewhere probably I'd say in the region of 230 horsepower. Um, again, there are New Hol I love New Hollands, there's a, there's a beautiful tractor. Um, sold on the window so i presume she sold and going out to some very very proud owner in north cork in in the next couple of weeks uh 2023 of course the back in there again a lot of you there maybe some fellas watching in europe this is the hitch this is the this is not the european hitch this hitch is only available in ireland ireland and england that i'm um that i am aware of it's not uh common over the rest of europe um, they have the other, the kind of a drawbar hitch. Um, next to that, we have the T5 120. Of course, again, out of the factory, as far as I know, equipped for the loader. Um, you might see this stuff here, this plastic. This plastic comes in a lot of new cars and in most of the new tractors. It's actually just to stop the, the sun bleaching or fading the mud guards before you get your hands on it. Um, again, like I said, as far as I know, they come. Um, they come out of the factory that way, equipped and tested for the loader. Uh, we have a plan in visiting the factory, um, maybe in October 2023. So hopefully that will come to pass. Um, next to that, we have the T6155. Again, equipped for the loader. Um, lovely tractor. Again, these are I you know these are smashing tractor. I really, really, actually do really like New Hollands, and I'm a bit biased towards them. But sure, that's it, um, C&H Group. Uh, of course, New Holland, I could tell you all about, about New Holland if we had about an hour and a half. Um, New Holland, of course, is a part of Ford. Um, T5120, again, equipped for the loader. New Holland, of course, is part of Ford. And the C&H Group is, of course, the, the, the big daddy of them all is, um, is what they call it, is Fiat. Fiat actually own New Holland. Um, Feet are the, the, the proud owners of New Holland. Um, there's a big long story how that ended up as well. Um, New Holland, as far as I know, was a Massachusetts company that started out um, in America at that time, going away back oh, well over 120 or 30 years ago. And um, they were just machinery. They, they didn't have any tractors. They had nothing to do with tractors until they joined up with Ford, or until they took over Ford. And um, when they took over Ford, then they kept the Ford name on the tractor for a while. And um, eventually they phased that out to just become New Holland. There were Ford New Hollands at the start for a couple of years. And uh, they faded out the Ford name completely um, after a while. And it's just New Holland now. But of course, it's like I said, it's part of the C&H Group. The C&H Group is, uh, is absolutely massive. It's absolutely massive. The C&H Group are like own to the best of my knowledge they own Cabelco uh, or they might know Cabelco actually they own Iveco is what I meant to say they own Iveco 
they own, uh, like I said, Fiat, they own uh, New Holland, they own, they're actually a massive, massive, massive outfit, the C&H Group. Here we have the, the T7165, um, and we have a T6160. Now I think, as far as I know, the T6150 or the T6155 is actually the, one of the biggest selling tractors in Ireland. Um, out of the New Holland branch, or the New Holland range. Now what the T7165, the T7165S, what's that? Go on, you tell me, but I don't know. T7165S, I've seen a T6165, but without the S. So I presume the S is, um, I don't know what the, what the S is, but sure the S is something. We don't know what the S is. We'll come back here and look at this tractor here again in a minute. Um, we have another T6155. This is the tractor, as far as I know, the T6155, or it could be the T6150, is actually the biggest selling tractor in Ireland. They're just, um, it's just it. The farmers want them, the contractors want them, everyone wants them. They're the, the biggest selling New Holland tractor in Ireland. And you know, it's easy to see it because there's another one on my left here. And what's this one? This is the bigger one. This is a, a T7230. Again, fabulous, fabulous tractor. Lovely tractor. Front linkage, the whole lot. Here for you, if you're looking for it, Kavanaugh's of, from my have it ready to go. All equipped with, her, with their own hitches, the whole lot. Now, another T7230. Now, this is the one I want to look at. It's a T5120. Dy Dynamic Command. Um, I know I done a video there a couple of weeks back, uh, a couple of months back at this stage, about the Dynamic Command. Um, apparently it is absolutely supposed to be the bee's knees. I'm not even going to try and start explaining it to you, but it is there, it's in a video. If you want to just put it in, and here's the spelling of it, because I'm not even going to try and spell it for you. It is, that's it. D Y N A M I C C O M M I N D, Dynamic Command. It's apparently this top of the range, absolutely more or less bulletproof gearbox. And I think, whatever way it works, there's only a couple of moving parts in it. Um, so it actually is a very, very strong, durable gearbox. Now, the other thing I want to look at is you see the, the badge, right? This is the badge, New Holland's in grey. Uh, and in the other ones, it's in yellow. And here we have a dynamic command again, and it's in grey. Have we any more? Oh, we have another dynamic, dynamic command, and it's in grey again. I wonder is the dynamic command in grey? Obviously, or is this just is this slightly newer? Is this slightly newer badge? Um, here also, of course, Cavanaghs have a full range of the New Holland equipment. They have a New Holland loader here. There's a couple more out the back in the other video. And we have the New Holland um, mower. Uh, I think I could have opened a correction on this, but I think the New Holland mower is, was PZ. Uh, PZ, of course, a massive, massive um, company, well-established company. As far as I know, New Holland bought them out. Um, again, for my European, maybe, viewers, here is the Irish Hitch. I think Ireland and England are one of the only countries in the world to have that hitch. We have a crook and it goes down onto it and that's it. A lot of the European tractors are actually pulled from up here on a, a European, that's what we would consider it, a European style hitch where the trailer actually would be on, um, would be on a dolly. Um, now, all these tractors here are locked. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go down the back into a different tractor. So if you want to see what the inside of the, the New Holland tractor is like, um, just stay there for one second till we get on the back. Now guys, we're running along. Here we have, just traded in, hopefully it's still there if you want it, a Case International 95 with a loader. Um, what year do we say it was? We just done it in a different video there, I don't know where to go, she's 12 KY. Um, so if you're interested in that video, or that video, if you're interested in that tractor, look, nice lights up in the back of it, the man was obviously working at night. The back tires are about 75%, the front tires are about maybe 40, 
nice tidy little tractor for someone now this is the tractor we're going to give a look at this tractor is actually open she's a t7 210 and like that's calvin as if you want to contact him that's the phone number that's the thing i'll also have it in the in the description below so if you click down into the description you'll get um a full list of what cavaners have and what they have to offer you on on the on the day actually that's a lovely lineup if you want to see any of them the class um there's an 83 she's 7740 there's a manitou there's a couple of them we went through some of them there on the last video so if you want to see some of them give a look at the last video i'll put in cavern is there and it'll come up to you um this is the inside of the of the new holland now there is a different model with a screen and electronics and everything but i think this is a, a slightly nicer version um you sp four spool valves right you have one two three four simple pull push push for float if I bring down the camera push for float you have power here and you have power there the other savage looking absolutely lovely looking stuff all together um, very easy to work very easy to to operate and here you have your gears these are your gears and we'll turn the camera um here's your gears uh, faster slower and this i'm not too sure but there's uh, some genius out there that can tell me if you know what that is tell me um here we have your lifts again very up and down easy the only thing i'd say about this is i'm just wondering it'll go all the way up and all the way down and it has happened to me in a couple of occasions I know you can set, you can set it here, right? You can set this, you can see this thing move a lot. That will tell you how far down they'll go, right? But I have gotten caught in one or two occasions where you be on this and maybe your, your hand will move it back another bit or another bit or another bit. And then it's up too high and next minute something will break. But I'm just wondering if, is there any way of setting it here to stop it coming up? But anyway, here you go again. This is your PTO. Um, there's no front PTO on this because if there was, that's the space there for the front PTO. Here's your PTO speeds, your 1000, your 540 Eco and your 540. Now I said this in the other video as well. David Brown, one of the first tractors to be manufactured and come out with a 4 speed PTO on them as standard. I think it was the David Brown. Oh, it was a big David Brown. It wasn't a 2D, it was... Someone can tell me, someone can tell me, it's there in it. Um, Shane Gregan, can you tell me what it was? Um, of course, here then you have your plugs, your external plugs. You have power in both of them. And here is your power cutoff switch. Um, sometimes you press it, it'll, it'll cut the power. It'll always cut the power. But when you press it, it'll. sometimes it takes a while for it to actually react or work. You have it's fitting for trailer brakes, maybe locking your front suspension. Um, this is your, your plug for your mechanic that I'm aware of. Um, air conditioning, there's no air conditioning in this tractor that I know of. I think the air conditioning switch should be here. Um, we don't really need air conditioning in Ireland, only maybe for about two, three days in the year, but sure that's okay too. Um, here you have your dash, just a normal, normal dash. You have a battery thing on there now because I press the thing over. Um, forward reverse, you have your indicators, your lights, your hooter. And uh, on this one you have your wipers. And of course you always also have the back window wiper, which is on the outside stock. So just turn that to get your back window wipers working. I think you have to pull it in for the washer. I think you have to pull off the washer and you have to push it for the back window washer. So I'm not too sure to figure it out. Uh, what else have we down here? Uh, also down here we have the hand throttle, fully open, fully closed, and the most important the cup holder. Um, so that's kind of it really. That's kind of a basic look at the inside of the the new Holland of the what is she T7210. So if you have any interest in any of these tractors we see or saw and don't, we'll give a quick we'll give one quick look. Over here around the yard, it's like 30 seconds. I know I done it in another video to you about three or four weeks ago, but to me it's only about 10 minutes ago. But this is the lineup of some of the some of the gear they have. And um, if you want to see more of this, this yoke is so old. He told me it is what is she? An 83, what is she? 84, 8440. I think it's an 8440. I might be able to see it better from this side. 
She's 7 8 40, my apologies. Um, man, man and two. Um, telehandler. We have a brand new baler. What is she? She's a, a New Holland roll bale 125. And next to that, we have a T7 210. We have this York. She's a class Aryan. 650 in the class of. Not in the class of, no, of a John Deere engine, right? all of a John Deere engine. A T7190. And um, this is a beautiful tractor. We'll look at this while ago as well. Uh, T475S. Absolutely lovely, lovely tractor. There for you. Kevin is a firm I have it. Um, that's kind of it. And of course, like we said, um, CNH Group, part of New Holland now and part of Fiat and all that Iveco, there's a massive, massive, absolutely massive, massive list of companies that um, the C and H group all know. So, um, thanks again to Kevin, as thanks again to John McCormick here, um, who I was talking to, and um, gave me for permission to walk around the yard and give a look at some of the stuff. Um, if you see anything here that you think you might like, or something maybe that tickles your fancy in the background, or who knows. Um, don't, don't hesitate to give him a call and make absolutely certain and sure you tell him you saw it here on YouTube. Alright guys, until we see you all in the next one, keep safe out there.